Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. We have an orange glow Ford Tornio Custom Sport on our hands here this afternoon. This one has done just under 13,000 miles. We're on a 70 registration, so that's going to give us Ford warranty until December 2023. We have the Eco Blue, the 2 litre Eco Blue engine producing 185 PS of power. That 185 PS of power is then transmitted through a 7 speed automatic gearbox. These custom sports are filled to the brim with specification, let me tell you that for nothing. So let's start at the front of the vehicle where we can see your gorgeous by Xenon HID headlights. Admittedly, you've got my shadow in most of it, but that's the time of year. Uh, they might appear to be flashing in your video. That is simply because of the frequency the video is recorded. But let me assure you, those daytime runners outside the perimeter of the lamp there, they are looking beautiful from my eyes. If we go further south now, we can see some nice large front fog lights. We've got parking sensors training around the front bumper as well. And behind there, we've got a little radar. Uh, so that's gonna suggest we've got a driver assistance pack as well. So we'll cover the driver assistance once we get inside the vehicle. We're gonna pan around now. And so part of the driver assistance pack is blind spot assist. To focus actually. I have a few issues there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just about to see that little image just there. That is your blind spot assist monitor. So if someone was in your blind spot on either the near side or the off side of the vehicle, you're going to get a little orange illumination to tell you it's unsafe to pull in or out, which is a very handy feature. Rear privacy glass all the way around the vehicle there. And that leads us nicely to the off side rear corner. And whilst we're here and we've got a bit of sunshine, we'll try and give you some lovely reflections down the side of these tornadoes. Oh, I am a massive fan of this orange glow colour. In the sunshine, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Excuse me, I completely forgot about the alloys. My bad, so we've got some 17 inch machine alloy wheels here, and now they are fitted with Michelins on every corner. A nice glimpse of that, as you can see, you've got your nice shiny chrome face, that's the machine cut bit. Then you've got the gloss black backing it up there as well. So, really, really lovely wheels on these Tornado Customs. Okay, the rear of the vehicle, rear parking sensors around the bottom lip there, and equally a rear vision camera. The sports come with a lovely stripe kit as well, so you'll always know it's a Tornio Custom Sport. Okay, now we're at the near side rear corner. Let's try once more to give you some nice reflections. On that there. Excuse that little bug that's decided to uh, take home. There we are, bug's gone. Okay, so this is the near side, near side front door. Once more, again, blind spot assist monitor, near side mirror, near side front wheel. Beautiful. Okay, so this is a short wheel base version, it's the L1. But don't worry, you still get tons and tons and tons of space. Very high volume in the rear of these Tornio Customs. Um, a, a, a baby donkey could fit in there maybe if you had a baby donkey if not abundance of suitcases you can stack them lengthways horizontally um, but yeah so some really massive expanse of volume in the rear here so you're always going to be able to get uh, your daily needs in there little cover here we have a nut there that's going to suggest we have a spare wheel so that's always going to keep you going in a forward direction. So it's always handy to have a spare wheel. A nice little cubby hole down here with a 12 volt socket to keep you nice and charged up as you're going along. Behind this cover here, I often get asked, what is behind there? So it's a blower motor and that is going to be for your rear air conditioning. We'll show you that once we're inside, but rear air conditioning on this vehicle as well. These big towel gates, I think they're fantastic. If you are taking people to a place of leisure, and it does start raining. Big umbrella, look at that. You've still got a nice little handle, so even with one hand here, it's nice and easy just to pull down. Thanks to some lovely hydraulic struts as well. Okay, so that's the body and that's the rear of the vehicle. So let's have a look inside the vehicle. So I'm guessing the main reason you're looking at this video today because you want a Tornio with six rear seats, two in the front, so it's an eight seater vehicle, multi purpose vehicle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in. At the moment, this is currently in conference mode. So we've got two banks of three seats facing each other. 
This middle bank here can be rotated 180 degrees. So this seat is gonna be facing forward on the right hand side. So if you did want two banks of three facing forward, opposed to facing each other, that's easily done as well. But as I say, this is the conference setup currently. Each of these seats is completely individual. So they can fold up and be removed from the vehicle if required. So I'm not telling you my cheat code, but if you did require a transit van at any stage of your life, take the seats out, transit. Perfect, ideal. Other than that, we have two, uh, two ISO fixing seats in that row, and we've got two more where I'm currently sat. So two end seats either side are always ISO fixings. The ones in the middle are not, but you can pull them down like so, and they become a table as well. So depending on how many people you've got in the vehicle, um, you can you can you know, vary and customize it to your liking. I'm sorry about any of the wind noise, it's rather blustery today. Okay, so the rear of the vehicle we've additionally got rear air conditioning just there. So you can adjust the fan speed and vents through the rear, where it's the floor vents there, or where it's the vents in the ceiling. So it's nice and comfortable for the rear passengers. They've also got use of nice retractable sun blinds, two USBs and a cup holder on the near side and two more and a cup holder on the offside. If they were facing, this bank was facing forward, they could take advantage of two more USBs at the rear of the handbrake. Equally, we do also have speaker systems in the rear as well. So if you do like a, a moving party van, let's have a party. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get the mats back into order because the valves will tell me off otherwise. Um, just to the point to add, just in case you didn't know, two opening sliding doors, so either side. So if you were parked roadside, you didn't want your passengers getting out into the road, you've got a door either side. Nice and convenient. Okay, let's have a look at the driver. What's the driver to play with? Two electric front windows, electric mirror controls, interior locking is found just next to the door handle. In the door card also, it's a really nice deep filling bottle holder, drinks holder. So we've got a nice bottle holder there. Equally, again, one there as well. Being a Torneo, I'm guessing you'll be sitting on the road for a long time, so it's crucial you've got somewhere to put your drinks. Let's talk about the seats quickly. So the driver's seat is not only heated, but it's also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and with your lumber, lumber, nine, 10. 10 way adjustable driver's seat. So that's your seating. It's a really durable, hard-wearing leather, and we've got a cloth base as well. So part leather, part cloth, and again, these seats are heated also. Before I jump in and show you around, I just wanted to mention, under the driver's seat here in this little flap is where you'll find your jack and your brakes. Oh, if I drop it, uh, for your spare wheel. So all the tools and jacks are supplied for what you need. Okay, so this is the key, remote central lock-in with a blade. So we'll pop that in, in the ignition. I should stop looking at the camera and start looking at the actual thing. It's not easy to do things. Okay, so jumping into the vehicle now. Okay, before we give you power, let's show you this little cubby hole here. 12 volt socket and a USB. So it's a nice little private one for the driver. Nice little document holder as well. If you were going Euro Tunnel, boarding a ferry, keep your documents nice and safe. Okay, in the premise of going right to left, Lighting clusters down here, automatic lights for your HID by Xenons, leave that automatic. Why not touch that again? Again, another cup holder. Now at the stage, we're gonna show you around the steering wheel. Foot on the clutch, turn the key round, the engine will start. Okay, so let's have a look at your driver display. Left hand side is where you'll find your RPM gauge and to the right is your speed. The bottom is a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge, along with a gear selector indicator, which you're always gonna know what gear you're in. Just above that, where the error message currently is, is where you'll find your digital driver display. As you can see, we've done 13,047.9 miles. So we've got different things in there, but whilst we're on this screen, we can go into the driver assistance, and we've got blind spot assist, pre-collision assist. So remember that radar I mentioned at the front? That's gonna be controlling a lot of this. Traffic sign recognition, lane keeping system, driver alert, cross traffic alert, eco coach, cruise control, and a speed limiter. So tons and tons of driver assistance software on board this vehicle. It mentioned cruise control there. 
and that is the adaptive cruise control. So if we look at the left hand side of the steering wheel now, it's a nice ergonomic place to have it. Everything's always at your thumb and it's nice and easy to adjust your speed, adjust your distance, set your limiter or even control your volume controls there as well. Like you can see, I was controlling that menu through the arrows on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Equally below that cluster is phone connectivity buttons as well and that leads me on nicely to our SYNC 3.4 module here. So this includes your satellite navigation. So this, I'm going to get the brightness down a little bit maybe. There we are. So this is a SYNC 3.4 module. We know that because we've got the dark blue band at the bottom. Fully supported of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So whatever software you use, plug your phone in and be a nice hands-free system. That gives you access to all the software such as navigation, podcasts, uh, music, but my favorite feature, it makes your hands free. So by that, you can use the voice activation button on the steering wheel, activate Siri, and that will set navigation, that will call anybody, that will send text messages, so you'll never be on your phone whilst driving. But a little bit more about this module, lots of things happen on here, whether it be your rear reversing camera comes up when you go into reverse, we've got the automated parking function, so if you click on the parking, that's where your Ford Active Park Assist is going to come up as well. Equally on the screen, we have the Sync Ford Navigation also. So click on your navigation. For example, you wanted to come to Perkins for a cup of coffee with me. Charlie Mike, 776 Sierra Alpha. Just look how responsive that is on the keys there. Really is nice and quick. Click search there, it's found us straight away. I won't click start because it'll start shouting at me but that's how easy it is to set a navigation. And back to your home screen now. Okay, I can feel myself getting a very warm bum here, so if I just move that shift up away, or at least handbrake, I'm about to see it here. You're going to have to focus. Here is your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls, fan speed to the left, and temperature to the right. I did think I was getting warm. We have heated front seats on, and we also have electrically heated front screen as well for those frosty mornings. In the middle of the cluster is where you'll find your different flows of vents, air conditioning, recirculation, and rear screen as well. Little cubby hole here. Again, more drinks holders. They're very generous with drinks holders here. It's a touring vehicle after all, so you need somewhere to put your drinks. So that's that. We've got a button there for automated stop start, a few more buttons, stretch control, mo button, parking sensors, and a self park. Before I go, we have a seven speed automatic gearbox, nice and easy to navigate through. And you also got the semi automatic function, which you can go through those seven gears manually if you require. Okay, so in these 13 minutes or so, I hope, hopefully, I've given you some insight to this wonderful vehicle. If you have any questions, do give myself or one of the sales team a call 01376 550 899. Thank you, have a good day, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.